Hello, my name is Ros Savage and I'm here to share what I've learned about courage, particularly the courage to commit. Being non-committal is the easy way out. You might be spared the pain of failure, but you'll also miss out on the sense of achievement that you only get when you truly commit yourself to a goal and make it a reality. So you might be wondering, who am I to be talking to you about courage and commitment? Well, I'm the first woman to row solo across three oceans, the Atlantic, Pacific and Indian, earning four Guinness World Records along the way. My rowing voyages involved spending up to five months at a time alone at sea. That's five months of not seeing another human being and being hundreds or thousands of miles from dry land. That might sound really boring, but actually it was really hard. There were storms, injuries, equipment failures, adverse winds and swirling currents. I'd have just finished dealing with one problem when another one would pop up. You probably know that feeling. And there were days when I was literally just going in tiny circles. And I'm guessing you know that feeling too. So yes, I think I've learned a thing or two about courage, especially the courage to commit to a big gnarly challenge and see it through. And here's a secret. Despite all the struggle, or maybe because of it, I've never felt so alive as I did when I was at sea. And it fundamentally changed who I am for the better. I feel more comfortable in my own skin. I trust myself. I know that I have the courage and the resourcefulness to see things through. So here's what I've learned. I've picked out three main ideas about finding the courage to commit. First, the bigger, the better. Not off the charts huge, you don't want to set yourself up for failure, but it's got to be big enough to be inspiring. It's hard to get excited about meeting your quarterly sales target. It's easier to get excited about hitting double your target or being the best ever salesperson in your company or in your country or in the world. You'll know when you've found the right goal. There'll be a feeling that could be fear or it could be excitement. You're not quite sure, maybe it's both. Life is too short for second rate ambitions. Go big or go home. Second, have a vision. You need a vision of what it will feel like when you've achieved your goal and why you're doing it. You can see it, hear it, smell it, feel it in your bones. And most importantly, it connects to a reason that really matters to you. For me, I found the sweet spot is when the goal combines something that will make me grow as a person with something that I believe is in service to the greater good. I rode across all those oceans because I wanted to raise awareness of our ecological crisis, as well as finding out what I was capable of. On the days when I really didn't think I could carry on, I could summon up that vision and it would inspire me to get my backside back on that rowing seat and start sticking my oars in the water. And following on from that second idea, the third idea is that courage is what happens when your motivation is greater than your fear. Courage is not the absence of fear. Often, if you're not afraid, it just means you haven't really thought it through. Courage is feeling the fear and doing it anyway. And you do that by connecting with your motivation. Why are you doing this? How will it improve your life or the lives of others? and get a grip on your fear. Most of our fears get a lot less scary when we turn around and look straight at them. It's when we try to run away from them that their shadow looms so large. Think of the Wizard of Oz. The big scary thing is really just a projection of a pathetic little man behind a curtain. Think of the people who've really achieved something, like Albert Einstein, Martin Luther King, Mozart, Madonna, whoever your hero may be. Did they get where they were by being meh about what they did? No, they committed to being the best they could possibly be. But they all had to start somewhere. I like to remind myself that I don't need enough courage to get to the other side of the ocean. I just need enough courage to pass the point of no return. So to quote Goethe, whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power and magic in it. Begin it now. So, why are you still here? Begin it now and I'll see you next time.